All right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the Limax 2021 Pumpkin Treehouse. Let's get into it. Okay, so the pumpkin tree house. This one is neat. I really wanted this one this season. It's the perfect accessory for any village. Uh, it's big, it has lights, and it's pumpkins, and it's spooky. There's so much to see here in such a little, you know, jam-packed box, I guess you could say. It packs a punch. So let's take a look here. Diving right in, of course, it was released in 2021, and some dimensions are 6.89 inches high, 3.94 inches wide and 6.69 inches deep. So for an accessory, it's actually good size. It's tall really is what it is. And the pumpkins are really plump, uh, if that's the right term here. They're, they're fat and plump and they're big and they're really a highlight, you know, the focal point really of this cool tree. The product type is table accent. And it says on the website that it's made of metal. Um, there's definitely some other materials mixed in, but I imagine the tree itself probably has a metal skeleton or something like that, and it's wrapped, you know, in whatever the material is. Uh, but anyway, the product type, or excuse me, the uh, made of is metal. Okay, uh, I do want to throw in the SKU number for those curious about that. It's going to be a Lamax SKU number of 148. Five, six. So that is the SKU number from Lamax uh, themselves, and Michaels uh, does use that SKU number as well. Okay, let's talk power. So uh, like a lot of table accent pieces, uh, they have the option of both battery and electric, uh, but as most of them do, they come with a battery pack, but no batteries. Um, you know, something like this would be perfect for the multi-adapters. I know I say a lot of times don't use those on your houses, but for accessories, they are a great choice. And this would be the perfect opportunity to use one of those multi-adapters. Uh, today, I am running it on a single 4.5 volt adapter, um, you know, and it works just fine that way too, but if I was setting this up in my village, you can bet it would be the multi-purpose adapter. Now, for those of you who don't have the adapters or working on a little bit of a smaller village to start or whatever, uh, the batteries work great. And because it's LEDs, they're going to last a long time. Okay, so as far as the power options, uh, for the batteries, you'd be looking at three double A's or 4.5 volt DC, and it draws about 22 milliamps. So really guys, this is not a lot of power at all. So batteries, like I said, would go a long ways with this one, but it is always nice to have the option to use your power supply. Okay, moving on. We have a on and off switch and there is no soundtrack. So it's gonna be your standard, you know, push up, push down kind of power switch and the price point. It was a little intimidating for me, but I totally get it now that I have it. Uh, it is $54.99 and that is a little bit of money for sure for an accessory piece. But you know, this one, this one justifies it. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, but here's the secret. Use your coupons, people. I preach that all the time and I practice what I preach. So after taxes and everything, it ended up being $48.11 for me. I had a coupon, I think it was 20% off. And that really helps because the truth is this would have been a $60 piece had I not had a coupon and with taxes in my area, that's about what it would have been. So walking out of there for $48, I felt pretty good about myself and about what I was getting for the money. Something else I'd like to point out too, which is a really cool touch, nothing really to do with the piece itself, but in the packaging, when you go to pull it out, you know, I know we pull it from that strap normally, uh, there is a hole right in the middle of the top of the foam, you know, uh, the foam insert, I guess it would be, uh, that makes it really easy to pull this thing out of the box. So that, you know, little things like that make all the difference when you're opening up a bunch of these every year and closing them up every year. You know, that kind of stuff, those little things make it really easy to be a villager. All right, moving forward, we have the detail of the house now. There is, or excuse me, table accent. There is a lot to see. So as normal, we're gonna start on the top and work our way down. All right, starting from the top, we have a really cool 
uh, bird, I, I don't know, the vulture, I think, would be the proper bird name, uh, standing right on top, keeping watch, okay? And that's a really cool thing, because if you have a lot of village figures around or, you know, whatever other things you may have in your village, it's going to look like he's actually interacting with those figures or houses or whatever it is. He, you know, it really looks like he's, you know, really looking into the situation there. Uh, next, we have the little pumpkin on the right, and that lights up, and it's got a killer expression. Oh my gosh, the pumpkins on this thing are amazing, very detailed, and I love that even though the detail in the mouth, like, I don't know, I'm trying to get it to focus here, the teeth, you know, the, as small as the teeth are, they're extremely detailed, and they're really well uh, molded. I mean, really, guys, this is a clean mold here. Uh, next, we have the centerpiece. The holy grail of pumpkins for this scenario would be this guy right here, dead center. He's huge, okay? absolutely huge but it's really impressive to be honest and i think with the lights down uh mixing with your village it's just bright enough where it'll stick out yet blend in perfectly with the rest of your village so it's a really cool thing i mean this is the perfect accent for any village now as you see there's a bunch of like uh yellow string pumpkins all around the tree those do not light up, unfortunately. I think it would have been a nice touch, but I kind of understand maybe a reason why they might not have done it is because maybe it would have just been too much to have them light up as well. It might have taken away from the pumpkins themselves. So I'm totally good with it, but I did want you to know that they're not supposed to light up, so don't feel like yours is broken. It is not. They're just not meant to light up. Now, there is some birds hiding around here, if I can get it to focus for you. There is some birds and some bats hanging. And please, uh, something I noticed about this piece, when I'm pulling it out of the box, the bats tend to fall off, you know, from pulling off the paper. They, they're, they're just like little hooks that just sit on the branches. So just something to be cautious of. They're really small, so, you know, be careful. Uh, but anyways, moving forward, we have a ladder right here in the middle. I, maybe this skeleton guy that's hanging out back here, what a surprise, was putting the pumpkin up for all of us to enjoy. Now, there is some other pumpkins down here on the base. Those do not light up either. That might have been a missed opportunity, but killer anyways. I think it would have been nice to see it, and I don't think it would have taken away from the bigger pumpkins had it lit up, or at least had some kind of light on the bottom, maybe to light up the skeleton there in the back or something like that. But nonetheless, it's cool, and it's got a really nice base to it, and it's got a nice fat base too. So the you know dimensions from the top to the bottom really seem like they go together well. The scale seems to fit really nicely. All right, now for some close-ups on the signs. We have a beware sign and a enter if you dare sign. This is a cool touch, you know, it really is because obviously there's some shady things going on here. We have some skulls mixed in the ground and some other stuff and he's here waiting for you. So enter if you dare, if you're willing to face him, he's there waiting for you. Oh, hey guys, one thing I did want to note about this tree, and I'm assuming this is because the branches are probably hand wound maybe every time. I, I don't actually know for sure. Uh, but what I wanted to note was I noticed the little branches that come off the main branches are a little different than what the box shows. Not in a bad way, just in a different way. Um, it's still fine, but you're probably going to notice that that from box to box, the little branches that kind of, you know, come off of the bigger ones might be a different angles or different heights or something like that, causing the stringy pumpkins to maybe wind a little bit of a different way. Not a big deal. It actually makes yours unique. So enjoy that. But I, you know, I always keep it 100 with you guys. And that is something that I did notice on mine that was a little bit different than what the box showed. But again, it makes it unique. So call it yours and call it a day. All right. So overall, really cool. I'm excited to try this one out in the village. I think there's a lot of opportunity here. And what's cool too is, you know, with all the different spotlights and stuff like that that Lamax has to offer, like accessory lighting, you could really do some neat things with this. And depending if you put it, you know, by itself somewhere or next to a house in a front yard, there's a lot of options, you know, so get creative with it. Just because it's, you know, comes by itself doesn't mean it should be by itself. So be creative, have some fun with it. It's a cool piece. I think you'll enjoy it. You'll get a kick out of it. But use your coupons for sure because it's definitely pricey for a table accent. But I understand it. 
It's cool. It, I think you guys will really enjoy it. Okay, guys, so that about wraps it up for this one. It's really cool. I think you'll enjoy it. I thank you, as always, for continuing to support my channel. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.